Yay! <laughs> no, I feel stupid. <sighs> First day. Oh no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> Gorgeous. So I didn't give any context, but today was day one of me taking my anxiety medication. <laughs> I'll just do a little background quick. So I basically don't have had anxiety like my whole life. It's been pretty bad. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was normal. I thought people, you know, worried about stuff all the time and they're always freaking out about stuff. And that was the thing that people just did until I would never say my worries out loud because, you know, I had a feeling that maybe it was a little over overboard. And I started telling Jake the things I was worried about. And he would always respond, I've never thought about that at all. Oh, that's that never occurred to me. <laughs> like, oh, why would you be worried about that? So, stuff like that. And I was like, oh, maybe this is worse than I thought. And it happened maybe like a month or so after we got married. I was just having a bad time. I thought it was just like post-wedding blues and I chalked it up to that, but it was to a point where nothing interested me, nothing was fun. One of the way anxiety presents itself to me is that I need to overly plan everything. Everything needs to be planned to the detail, even if it's like, you know, it doesn't matter if it's tomorrow or if it's like four months from now, like it needs to be planned if it's, as soon as it's mentioned me, I need to plan it. I wasn't even planning anything anymore. I like did not want to do anything. And I was like, okay. Like I've, I've said for years to other people too, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I have anxiety, but I just don't want to get checked out for it. Like basically like, I know, but I don't want to do anything about it because if I go to a doctor and a doctor tells me I have anxiety, then it's real. And then, you know, it's a thing I have to deal with and I don't want to deal with it. And so I finally decided like I should probably deal with it. And now that I was on Jake's insurance, which is, was way better than any insurance I ever had, I don't think any of my past insurances would have ever covered anything for anxiety. So I finally took a little, it, it was a little weird. I just took an online survey thing. It's just like, okay, so are you worried? Kind of like, <laughs> I can't remember all the questions, obviously, but I just remember there's a basic one that was very like, kind of like, oh, how often are you worried? Like rarely, sometimes, three or four times a week all the time, like constantly basically. And I was, of like five options, I was picking like four, like every time. <laughs> I'm just like, oh geez, okay. And usually I would like minimize it and be like, oh, it's not that bad. Like maybe that's like a two, like, but I was like answering honestly for once. I was like, oh, yep, yeah, yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty bad if I'm worried like the majority of the time. I didn't have an appointment. I just filled out the questionnaire and the doctor prescribed me medicine. And I think that freaked me out a lot. 
that I hadn't like actually talked to anybody about it. When I picked the medicine up from the pharmacy, I tried to ask the pharmacist about it, but he basically just told me the side effects and that was it. I just was not ready for it. I had, I've had the medication since November and I took it for the first time and now it's February. <laughs> And it took a long time to get to this point, and I've been freaking out about it the whole time. Like, I'm just like, what if it changes my personality? What if it makes things worse? I've been, like, hyper-focused on side effects. I've just been like, what if... Cause, so I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression. I feel like they're just both kind of, like, enmeshed. Because um, to me, it's always just been anxiety. I've never thought I had depression. But then I was like, oh, if people don't just think their friends hate them all the time. Like, people aren't just worried that they're, like, they said one thing wrong and now everybody's mad at them. Like, so, and apparently, like, I thought that was anxiety. But they're like, it's kind of depression. Like, people don't usually, like, immediately jump to the worst conclusion, like, to the, the sad degree. Like, people don't really think, like, oh, maybe people might be better off if I wasn't around. Like, that's not, it sounds really cryptic, but, like, I've never been someone who, like, doesn't want to be here. I've always been very worried about not being around I really love being alive so that's and the, you know what depression is like that's what I thought it was I didn't think there was like gradients of it but essentially I've been worried about the side effects because I've never felt that way and one of the side effects is that you will like potentially not want to be around anymore you know that that's a side effect that could happen or like there's a bunch of other side effects every medicine has a million side effects but I was focusing so much on the bad things that I like forgot this is a medicine that's like supposed to help <laughs> and Jake actually had to point that out to me I think it was just yesterday he was like the doctor didn't prescribe you medicine for you to feel worse like they didn't give you this so that like all the bad stuff would happen they gave it to you in hopes of the good stuff happening so maybe you just you know believe in the good stuff and not sit here for months stressing about the bad stuff and not taking it and just kind of He's, he's just like, you're having anxiety about your anxiety, like, and your anxiety is like an overdrive about this anxiety that you have about <laughs> all this. I think he's just like, he said anxiety like several times, and it just, it kind of cracked me up, even though he had a good point. I tried to talk to other people. One person was like, they took a, they took their medication, and they're just like, oh, that night, the night I took it was like the best night of sleep I ever had. Like, I, I felt effects immediately. And then I had a friend too who was more like, yeah, well, I had to try, like, a few different medications. I had a few bad times before I found, like, the third or fourth medication that finally worked for me. And I knew, I knew someone else who, they went from one medication to another medication, and they had, like, a severe, like, awful reaction. And they did what their doctor told them to do about, like, because weaning off, I guess, is hard. And they did what their doctor told them to, but I think their doctor just, like, moved them too fast from one thing to the other because they were, like, in the ER, so, like, I have all these conflicting, like, yeah, it helped immediately, and it was great, and then, like, oh, like, someone's in the hospital. And it's all anecdotal, like, this is all just, like, from people I knew, but it gets you, like, I don't know, really thinking about it far too much, especially when you do have anxiety. So, all that to say, I finally bit the bullet, and I took my medicine today, and this is sort of my, like, day one uh, synopsis. So, I took it, I was fine for a little bit, and then all of a sudden I was just, like, this could just be lack of sleep, like, you know, I can't say this is all the medicine, especially because it is day one, and I've heard that it takes weeks to take effect. But day one, basically, I had nothing for a couple hours, and then all of a sudden I had, like, I was really cranky. I was just, I had no reason to be upset, but I was just feeling very upset, and my stomach was very upset. The nauseous, like, I feel like I'm gonna throw up kind of, like, feeling. I never did, but I just kind of had that like in my gut for a long time. Yeah, that wasn't fun, but eventually like as a, f a few more hours passed and I felt fine. It's funny, like it could just be placebo effect. I feel like I haven't really worried about anything. Like there's been stuff that, have, like I did my taxes today. To be fair, Jake did most of the taxes because we're finally jointly and he did <laughs> a lot of it. But I was like fine, to be fair. Like I said, Jake did most of it, so I was a little less stressed out than general because of that, because I wasn't doing my own taxes like I generally do. And my taxes are, like, easier than his anyway, because it's basically just, like, my income, and that's it. Whereas he has, like, income, property taxes, mortgage, like... I was fine with that, and I was looking up, like, gifts for people, and then, like, we're planning an event for a friend, or we're planning another event to do, and usually I'd just be like overwhelmed and I'd be like, I can't do any of this. But today I was like, oh, this is fine. Like in the morning I wasn't 
like dealing with it in the morning. I was kind of just like sitting on my phone and like and in like my bad mood and not doing anything. But then as the day wore on, it was like, okay, this is cool. Um, the only weird thing, and I don't know if this is just the medication or not, but I did during dinner, like when I started eating, I felt nauseous again. Just like taking a bite, I just like immediately just felt like, whoa, like I don't want to be eating this. But I also hadn't really eaten much all day. So I was like, uh, I do need to eat something. This is normal for me. I usually don't eat much all day. I usually like go through the day and maybe I'll have a coffee and then like, but that's about it. And then I won't eat until dinner because I do intermittent fasting. It's basically OMAD at this point, although I do snacks. So I guess it's not OMAD, but yeah, I do intermittent fasting. So it's not like, it's weird that I didn't eat all day. Sorry, I'm like over explaining. So yeah, so my stomach was upset. And then I had the, like the opposite kind of like stomach upset. <laughs> Um, than what I had this morning, and now I'm fine again, so we'll see how this goes. I feel like I've said way too much and I've been a little too TMI, but I just kind of want to gauge what this experience is like and see how things are going forward. So that's it for today. <laughs>